Is down picking the ultimate metal technique? You be the judge. So for this lesson, you'll need a guitar, a pick, a lead, an amp with distortion or a distortion pedal. You'll need some fingers. You'll need at least one eye so you can watch this video and at least one ear so you can hear this video. You'll need a metronome. And as always, if you've got Peppa Pig on it, it makes it more cult um, and a timer so just a timer on your phone or on your desktop or a little one of those egg timers or whatever so recently i've been watching a few other metal guitar players to try and pick up some new ideas and new techniques and one thing that really stood out to me is what they're doing with their right hand in terms of their down picking so i've always played most stuff with alternate picking okay whereas the guys that i was watching and there was three mainly that i've been watching which is john brown josh middleton and Ola england they are using 10 times more down picking than i would and what i really noticed is the difference in pick attack between playing riffs with just down picking and playing riffs with alternate picking you get a much more solid attack you can be much more aggressive just using your down picking um, it sounds better it's cleaner it sounds more aggressive um, and also i think you can also be more accurate sometimes as well so i've really been concentrating the last couple of weeks in just putting maybe 15 minutes a day into my practice in routine just down picking so I've created a few riffs for you to go away and practice that will help you down picking so one of the reasons I say a metronome and a timer is even a simple exercise so all of these exercises we're going to be muting on the bridge but even a simple exercise like playing an open bottom E string muted but playing it firmly <laughs> Just playing that straight for two minutes, your forearm will be on fire. So these exercises, I would say start off nice and slow and so you can play it accurately and then build up the tempo and you will start to notice an improvement in your, um, what's we're looking for, endurance in your, in your wrist and your forearm. So let's get on with the lesson. I'll start taking you now through some of the riffs and um, I'll also put the tab to these riffs on my Patreon page and I'll put a link in the description. So the first riff literally is a just a straightforward picking exercise um, and we'll, you can pick a tempo whichever suits you um, maybe start around 80 BPM or something like that and we're literally just going to pick the open bottom string muted on the bridge but we're going to pick with quite a lot of aggression rather than just So we're going to pick it quite hard so that will be the first exercise just go away and do that for, to begin with just do it for maybe a minute or so and you'll start to feel it in your wrist but really focus on that metronome so again it's just the open bottom string and that's exercise one i love spreadsheets right exercise two so we're just going to play on the D string and the bottom E string, then on the A string and the bottom E string. We're going to play frets 10, 9, 8, 7. So here's the riff. So what I'm doing there, I'm playing fret 10 on the D string, and this is all muted again. Fret 10 on the uh, D string, and then three times on the bottom E string. Then nine on the D and the open bottom E string. Eight, seven. Then I'll repeat that on the A string. Eight, seven. 
Okay, so that is exercise two. Again, go through that for a couple of minutes or a minute or so at a tempo that you can handle and build up that tempo and make sure that you're picking it uh, with some force so you're not just giving it a little... You're giving it a bit of welly. The next exercise takes you across four strings and it goes like this. So we're playing here on the bottom E string, fret seven to fret eight on the A, then twice open on the bottom string. And again, the whole riff is muted. So then eight, nine, so eight on the A, nine on the D. Open bottom string twice, and then nine on the D to ten on the G. So slowly, and then we're just going to come back. So ten on the G, nine on the D, then nine on the D, uh, eight on the A, and then eight on the A, seven on the bottom string. Okay, so that is the next exercise. Do the same again, get your metronome out, time it for a minute or so, and see how you get, get on. Keep it at the tempo where you can play it accurately, and uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. So the next exercise is pretty much the inverse of the last one. So we're playing, um, it's the same picking pattern with the right hand. The left hand though, you're going to play 10 on the bottom string, 9 on the A, open bottom string twice. Then 9 on the A, 8 on the D, open bottom twice. Then 8 on the D, 7 on the G, open bottom twice. And then come back down. So 7 on the G to 8 on the D, open bottom string twice. Then 8 on the D, 9 on the A, open bottom string twice. And then 9 on the A to 10 on the bo uh, bottom string and then open bottom string twice. And that is that exercise. So do the same with your metronome and your timer. So here we are playing some unmuted notes and some muted notes. So on the bottom string, we're going to play 8-7, unmuted. Then on the D string, 10-9, unmuted. Then we're going to play the bottom string muted four times. Then we're going to play on the A string, 8-7, and then 10-9 on the G string, and those are all unmuted. And then we're going to play the A string muted four times. So slowly. Then coming back down on the G, we're going to play 9, 10, and then 7, 8 on A, and that's all unmuted. On the D string, 9, 10. On the bottom string, 7, 8, unmuted. So, slowly. And that's that riff. Have a go with that with the metronome. So here's the next exercise. It's another string skipping exercise. So here, we are playing on the A string, 8-7, open, and that's unmuted. Bottom string twice, muted. Then on the G string, 10-9, unmuted. Then the open bottom string twice, muted. 
So that's <laughs> then on the A, 10, 9, unmuted, open bottom string twice, muted. And then on the G, 8, 7, unmuted, bottom string twice, muted. So slowly. So have a little go at that one. Here's the next exercise. So here we're playing 12 on the bottom string open, uh, sorry, 12 on the bottom string then to open, 14 on the um, D and then open bottom string and that's twice each time sorry. So. Then on the A we're playing 13, open bottom string once, 12, open bottom string once. So that's it. Then we're going to do the same picking pattern but down on the 7th fret. So 7 on the bottom string, 9 of the D, then 8 open bottom string, 7 open bottom string. And that's 8 on the A, 7 on the A. Uh, sorry. And then the chords on the bottom string, power chords, 7, 8, sorry, 7, 10, 9, 10. So slowly. So that's that exercise. Have a little go at that one. So here's the final exercise. It's mainly downward picking, but it does have some alternate picking in as well. First I'll play it and then I'll show you how to play it. So we're starting off with a 7th fret power chord on the A string. Then we are, and that's not muted, then we're going to mute the bottom string and we're going to play a triplet. Then we're going to play the A and then alternate the A string with the power chord and the open bottom string muted. Then we're going to play the same rhythm, but we're going to play the power chord on the 8th fret. And then we're going to mute the bottom string and play 8, 7 on the bottom string four times on each. So. Okay, so again, we're playing seven on the bottom, on the A string power chord. Eight. And then eight, seven on the bottom string. And that is the end of the lesson. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as I say, if you practice that or some of these riffs with a metronome and increase your speeds over a couple of weeks, you'll really build up your um, endurance in your right forearm and it will really help with the articulation of your playing. So I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe. See you later. Anybody that's interested in the gear I'm using, I'm using this guitar, which is a Music Man Silhouette. I'm using this amp, which is a Quilter Pro Block 200. And I'm using the Boss OD200 distortion pedal on the X metal setting. So that is the signal chain.